everybody, welcome to our next game, and it is Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Gauntlet Dark Legacy is one of my favorite games to play for the PlayStation 2 and GameCube. Um, I did play the newer one that came out on the place on the newer ones on the Steam. It was a really fast game that you can beat with your friends quickly or by yourself really fast. More compared to these games that are in the past, that are a lot more longer. Um, but yeah, for those that remember, I actually did play this game, one episode of this game, a while, a few years ago. Only one episode, so this is my first time actually beating it on the channel here. And yeah, so let's just get started here. Also, here's a tip as well, when you choose your name here, there's actually a cheat code for that. You guys can get more money than that, but I'm not going to be doing that. But for this, um, be careful when you press start accept because if you press it again after the end button right here, you will be choosing the sorceress automatically. So push it once after the end so you can get to the same screen because I know that happens to me a couple of times. Here you can play for the basic ones. You have the sorceress, which is a nice one because she has the speed and the magic to handle herself. Uh, the jester, which is really fast, but he doesn't have good of the three. Um, you can play as a knight, you can play as the dwarf, which is slow, but he has the most, the more powerful attacks. The archer, who has speed, but doesn't have much of the three. Wizard, Valkyrie, warrior, and that's it. I know that the summoner from what people play when you lock is the best one. Um, I'm just gonna be playing the Chester to be honest. He has a speed, so he gets done faster. And we can just increase his magic since that's his more powerful one and all that stuff. And to start here, you'll be collecting the gems here, the orange gems, so you can lock that green stage back there so you can unlock it and start the game. Um, like I said before when I talked about this in Crash, this is almost like a Crash feel with the stages where you beat five stages and get to the middle and go up against the boss. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be fun times. I really like the Jester. You can see him already, how he moves. Walks around, he just like, like marches along. It's really amazing. I like the Jester. This is actually my... I did play the gesture. Oh yeah, if you push triangle, don't use it that often. Your triangle is your magic. Which is the more powerful to knock out en enemies around. We can't open that treasure yet because we don't have a key to unlock it. Which you have to collect either by here or by at the end when you beat the level to unlock when you buy the key at the shop at the end. Um, also, what I was going to say before, which I kind of forgot already, uh, but yeah, this is our third final commentary game. Next one is Burkai 2. Oh yeah, here's what I was going to say. What I like about the having a sorceress of range type of character, since as you see here, the toxic, toxic arrows there, they can poison you and that stuff. Um, it's nice to have a range since they can destroy the barrels and you don't get damaged and you can still attack from a far away distance. That I can say about what having a longer range character is nice for. Um, let's go ahead over here. Uh, we don't need to collect these gems. What's nice, we just need to collect more of the money than the gems. Since the money gives us more, um, so we can buy experience to increase our magic speed and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, this is our third final commentary. Next is Budokai 2. For our commentaries. Oh, hello. No. Okay, can you move out of my way? Oh. 
Thank you. Um, fruit does give you more ex your health back, so collect fruits, they can get more of your health back. The bigger the fruit is, the more health you get. Um, and the final one is Shaman Monks, is our final game that we will be playing for the whole marathon. And yeah, that, that's it for the, the marathon, which I'm excited that we beat so many. Not sure if this will be the longest from what I've seen. This takes about average 10, 9 to 12 hours to beat. Um, so I'm not sure how long this will take me if I'll beat this today's sitting or not. Oh yeah, gas mask is nice to get for the poisons. Don't collect those fruits there because those are poison fruits that will build up your health as well. And there we go. And as well, to collect more money, the more enemies you kill, the more you get more health. And as well, probably the gems as well, most likely. Collect all the gems, you get more. So probably at the start, I'll be grinding a bit more, so later on, I won't need to fight much enemies, so I'll get to skip them all. Um, let's keep heading this way. Okay, and yep, that'll be it. So it's one long adventurous month we had. We played so many games. Amazing that great. As well, I'll be talking more about this at the final episode on Shaolin Monks. Let's talk more about... What... What, um, how I felt about the games. What I think about doing after and I'll be doing an update video as well talking about the now my regular channel now how I'll be doing it now after this I'll be doing an update video after 31st so probably on like Friday or something I'm most likely to take a week off since playing all these games did make me get tired too much because they yeah, are playing 31 games Editing them, um, uploading them, um, making playlists. Just wait for this, and let's keep going. Uh, making playlists and all that stuff. This makes me really tired. For those that do videos like these in general, they are tiresome, especially when you upload different, multiple games every single day. But I'm happy I did this because, yeah, since not many people does a challenge like this, it's nice to be one of those in the group of those that did a challenge like this. You did. It's really fun. For um, if you have the time to do something like this, I'll say sure, go for it. But just be sure that once you play this, you might feel some tiredness or some fatigue when you're playing this as well. You might not enjoy some of the games that you might have in your list because, you know, that's what to me when I chose some of the games. But some games you will not know about and you will really enjoy. Like it's for um, Shadow of Destiny, which will be released, I think, actually tomorrow, actually. The game will be released. For that one. Um, that was a really fun game. I guess for um, the commentary for that was not the best. Some of the reactions, some of the lines, voice actors did for the game were kind of not the best. Let's keep collecting these keys because they will help us, and that's the end over there, which we are getting closer at. Um... Keep going back! Forward! 
back. And as well, there is a Dream Reaper here that can actually kill you. So we'll have to be careful of that. Yep, there it is. He just gave the thing. Get gold to buy power ups. Just wait for that to go away. Enjoy. As well, you can buy fruits on your the shop once we get it here. You can buy fruits if you need. There he is. Excuse me, pardon me. Ah. So yeah, this is this. You can remove your health and you can die. Get away from him as possible. If you do have the potions that I have there, the potions I, which I forgot to use to show it off. If you have some magic of those potions, you can kill him. Boy. With your attacks, you cannot kill him. Green Jester has gained a level. level up. Okay, let's go, bus. Let's go buy some fruits. So we get back to 500. Let's keep going. And as well, you can change your character anytime you want to, so if you feel like you don't like the character you play, you can just change it right away if you want to. You are now entering Ghost Town. So yeah, so there's five stages you go to four stages that you play, and then the last stage is the boss. For every stage, so we find the leech. That voice of the desert almost reminds me of Crazy Taxi. Better up, better up. You know when they pick up the their clients. Um, but yeah. So collect those keys that you have there because you will need them to open up some of the doors here as well. Some of them has nice treasure to collect so you can get more power up. I'm gonna try my best so I don't get hurt. Hit here. So get this. And we got a potion of a little magic over there. Go. Nice. I always try to collect treasures more than anything. Since that's the best thing to grab so you can get more power ups. Let's grab this. Lever down. And let's go ahead inside there. Alright. But yeah, if you have a group of friends to play, this is a really fun game to play with your friends. I seriously would recommend it. Those that did play Gauntlet from like the NES or the Nintendo 64, I do recommend um, playing this game here. Now let's go ahead over. Shoot red barrels from a distance. All right, there we go. Ow! Explosions destroy islands. All right, and the game has some nice music, it's some like Yuri. Dungeon music, really nice. Phoenix oh, yeah, the Phoenix. I forgot some special items. You can actually collect some items to give you more of a power up. Like the Phoenix here gives me an extra help in hand and with some more attacking. Oh, I'm there. Okay. Go grab. <laughs> no, we don't need that. Since we're not trying to 100% it, come on. Thank you. Wait, yeah, this is. Okay, we're level 5 now, which is nice. How uh, we are. Use your turbo now. Wait, what? Okay. 
And yeah, special items don't last that long. So that is something to know about when you grab it. It won't last that long. Let's grab a chest here. Oh, some bananas. Alright, let's grab it. So we're at 800 now for our health. Somehow I got hit by something. Not sure what. But yeah, because I do enjoy like beat em ups. Dungeon fighting games because these are really fun when you fight um, and the recent one I actually did play which did release two days ago was um, Devil King. Devil King was a really fun game that um, uh, that is Dynasty Warriors esque game as the same concept of Dynasty Warriors it's a really short game, but I really love when you fight so many enemies all at once. Because it's really a great feeling when you kill so many um, enemies in a row quickly, like a uh, Dead Rising game where you can kill the zombies fast and in a group form. It just feels so satisfying. Okay, so I hit the button there, the targets. And uh, I think it was down below where we supposed to get the fangs. Uh, I'll just keep it from there. Okay, let's go. Keep destroying those. Turbo boost. Oh yeah, turbo boost. The more fast you can run, which is really, really good in general because we are at 600 and 40 probably. Okay. Hopefully, as well, the audio sounds well because I know this game is pretty quiet compared to other games that I played. And now go across over here. Alright. Here. Oh, we just found this again. Here's some more money, a ton of money, but I think you actually make deaths from this. But whatever, let's just go for it. Oh, you don't. Alright. Cool. We have now more money. And as well, when you do grab some of these items on the chest, it could be helpful, or it could be bad in like uh, a bomb. It can make you actually waste your. Oh yeah, this guy. Good thing I used it. Or got it. Four, four, four. Go. Oh yeah, meat does give you more health since we are warriors. Meats. Okay, um, now let's go head over here. I think we are getting closer to the end here. Fruits. They will come in handy. Yay! Oh, hello! I completely forgot about you! Ow! Hello! Ow! Hello! Okay. Like, the audio kind of is weird here, isn't it? Come 
Oh, sipping me up. Using our golf skills here. There you go. Got a golden item. Because of that. So we got more health. And as well, when you fight enemies, you do gain health. It's not more of the killing, it's more of the fighting. It's got the meteor. And let's just get out. And there you go, that's the second stage. Have a ton of health now. Oh, I'm getting close to a thousand health. 4,000 experience, 700, 700 gold. Got level 7 now. 230, 280, and 630. And 1,011 for our health. So these are nice when you buy these ones here, once you get the protections and all that stuff. Let's go buy the Phoenix. But yeah, um, the only th reason why you should get a golden item is because unless you're trying to grind, I'm not trying to grind, you're, when you're trying to complete it 100%, you collect the golden items. Like the fangs you saw at the, kind of the entrance. And these animations here is actually pretty nice. Um, looking at these. Go. Third stage. We need one more after this, and then we're at the first boss. So yeah, so if this game is not, if you know what you're doing and all that stuff. This game is actually not that long to beat. Uh, um, I know for sure if you play this on a hard, it'll be a lot more difficult and more longer you have to actually grind. But if you have your friends here, it's a lot more easier. Like when I played the new one, like I said before, it was hilarious how fast the game was when you play by yourself or even more with your friends. Like I don't know if they just wanted to didn't have much to do or think about. When they made that one, but yeah, it sucks that it was short. It was nice, I enjoyed the music for that, and it's amazing to see a more HD version of Beyond it, but it just sucks that it was really short compared to the older ones. So if I believe so, Gauntlet from the Nintendo 64 is more longer compared to uh, the newer ones, or this one right here actually. I saw it was like about 35, 40 hours to beat it. Like if it was a JRPG game, almost. Okay. So, okay, I'm a bit lost here. I thought we were supposed to head over here. Let's see here. Let's grab this. You can not open from the furthest corner. Alright. Let's go head over here, probably. As well as I said before, this has been a while, so I'm not gonna remember everything and 100% remember it since it has been over how many years since I last played this? Ton. I'm not a ton player. Uh, anything here? No. That. What's in here? Pineapple. Here it is. Oh no. Never mind. Let's just switch for that. Um. No, you don't hit it back. Did you press the switch or something here? Oh, 
size. Yeah. You didn't miss something here. What am I missing here? Okay, um, yeah, now I just completely forgot what to do here. That's why I said before, if you do know what you're doing, and know everything, where's the secrets and all that, so, you complete this fast. But for new people that don't know, or either I'm stupid, like, I'm acting right now. Like, where am I supposed to go? I know you put the head on the side there, but where is the switch to open the door? Uh, mogul right then, uh... Yeah, here it is! Good job, me! Not checking, you checked, I checked all three corners, all of three corners, but not the last corner, which was the corner I needed to go. Good job, me. You did it. Okay, whatever. I didn't spend too much time, even though it was like, what, a couple of minutes, so. Okay. Oh, here's another one dragon. Ow. Excuse me, pardon me. I'm not gonna be fighting you since I don't need the golden thing. Jeez, he really launched far. Wait, was that the start? Your key yeah. ring is full. Oh yeah, X-ray. That's a nice special item to grab for the treasure. So you can know what is inside the treasures. And so far, our limit is nine. I did know we were had a limit. Just didn't know how much our limit was. So it's nine is our limit. Use magic to kill death. There you go. So if you use your magic, you can kill him easily by pushing your circle button. That's your magic. You can kill him in one shot. Go through. Let's go grab this treasure. The Thunder Hammer. The Thunder Hammer. Thunder Hammer is a nice item to grab if you want to do more damage. Now. Look at that. Look at all that damage. Everybody's dead. And I believe the X ray. Um. Do is a permanent for the stage. Um, but after you leave, you do don't have the goggles anymore. You leave the stage here. Apple. 
Don't break the barrel. But yeah, so I might do more of these type of games, like on it. Games. Okay, we got some more keys. Which is nice to grab. Open up the other switch. No, it does SSI. Okay, so it lasts for a good long while, the goggles, the leg houses, but not that short compared to like the Phoenix. Or maybe it's the same links as the Phoenix. Oh, hi, guys. Hey, guys. Go away. No one likes you. No one. You're not gonna kill anybody today. Okay, some chicken. Chicken leg. And yeah, but that's amazing that we are almost done with the year. I feel like the year went by really fast during this year. Like, we are already at... Today, if I upload this, when is it going to be uploaded? This is our 27th game. Which is going to be on... 28th, so yeah, uh, we are already at the 28th. Oh, hello. Go ahead, get away from me. Alright. We're gonna go grind up a gear with this guy here since he's the more easier compared to Dragon. This dragon since he can blow more, um, Yes! Look how fast we are! Ha ha ha! Try catching us now! Man, it's gonna be nice when we get to a higher level at the end of the game, how fast we be. Right. Yeah, like that right there. Either it can give you a poison item, or gives you a, an explosion timer. Like that right there. Oh. I was just talking about right there, but oh well, we got some treasure. Look at that. That was in, that was in a thousand money. No one. But like I said as well, the um, audio for the games of these are not the best. Kind of really sounds distorted. Not the best sounding of the quality, like in the bass and all that stuff. So we're doing great now. Um, let's go buy another. Phoenix. Probably not actually. Not now. Anti Death is a nice item to grab. You can get some more speed, some more armor, some more magic. Spin a thousand. Now yeah, let's get some more magic. There we go, now we're at 400. I'll be buying more of that for our strengths and all that stuff. Um, I'll be buying more of that. So that's the main thing I'll be doing. They're generally just buying the magic and the armor and the strengths. So I get more of that higher. Probably not speed since I don't need no speed. Okay, levitate. So now we can't get hurt by the spikes. Yeah, we don't get hurt by spikes. And some of the enemies that crawl on the ground. But we can get hit by the guys that do fly. Yeah. This button. Wait. Okay. 
Dick. Okay, let's see, what's this target deal over here? Oh, rotate that around? Okay. You gotcha. Grab this watermelon. Yum, watermelon. I just love the wings, like, on his chest here. This is marching and this, the wings are a nice combination. <laughs> oh, that whistle. The slide whistle. I should just get a slide whistle, you know. I'm just mess around with it. Oh, jeez, I was so close. I was, gonna, I was about to grab that fruit there. Um, okay, we're level 10 now. And yeah, this game is really fast with your level one, so you don't have to worry about grinding like a JRPG or some of that. So for those that are wondering, does this take a long time to level grind? Or to level up? No, it doesn't. It's really fast. Just level up. Keys. Get in here. Come on, get over here. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. That was by accident. You got me. Right? Yes, some junk. Okay. Mm. I forgot what the junk does. I think you can... Yeah, that's the only thing I forgot, what the junk does. Not sure if it's just junk, just nothing, or you gain money from it, or not. I think you can do gain money from it. I have to be a wrong though. Before, I just remember more of the basic stuff in general. And more of the other oh, stuff that I can remember. Lightning sheet. And now we got more of them to do damage. More than a regular shield. So you can just ram into them as your shield. And you know, we just do damage to them, which is a nice thing to ram. There's many items that will be amazing, will be a nice item. To me, my favorite one. Is the Phoenix since it gives you an extra boost of damage? And we got some more magic here. Uh, but the shield is amazing. The lightning hammer is nice, but only lasts only after like two or three hits that you use it. Let's keep grabbing experience here so you can level up more easily. I'm not too sure how long I'll be lasting. Most likely we'll go on for about another hour. So I'll be eating. And showering and all that stuff. So I might either record this either tonight or tomorrow morning. Can we can grab that, can we? No, we can't. You cannot jump in this game, so you have to get the lever. So if it's a platform that's above you or below you, you can't jump to grab the item. Okay, that was not bad. Is there another key? So you do have to find a different way to... Okay, nice. There's a meat over there. Let me just go back to grab actually, so I can just get my max health going on here. And some treasure, oh nice. I didn't see that button underneath it. And let's go over here. Grab this treasure. What is this? Oh, but you're going even faster! Green 
11. Good, good, good. Probably after this, I might put some more armor on. Too much damage. And then I'll do some strength. For either strength, uh. Not sure. I'm probably gonna do armor though. Because armor is the main important thing, so we don't die. Okay, crystal that we don't need to grab. In the next area, we have to go through. Get my way. And I like that little troll right there, where he's like, "All right, you want to cross? Up, oh, never mind. We just pull away from you, like right there, and right there." Uh, it's amazing. I like this. Not sure if you, you can get too fast and actually fall with it. But if you can, oh man, I'll suck. Just like fall onto that. Get on top of that to fall easily. Cause it looks like it just falls down when you just get close to it. Okay. Oopsies. Step we go. After this, we are gonna be fighting the first boss in the game. It took us only about an hour, 30 minutes or so to get to the boss. The first world. Um, I think either there's four or five worlds. I kind of forgot how much worlds there are in the game. Thanks, treasure. Put that right here. Got some treasure. Go over now and go over here. You can't. You can't go around. Oh, you can't go around. Junk. That's it. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. So yeah, so the X-ray are good to grab, but I want to say keep grabbing them since you do gain a lot of keys multiple times in general. So that is one thing I don't recommend unless you have a group with you. Like, you know, one grabs the X-ray, the other grabs like a different power-up to help you out. But I won't say if you're playing by yourself, I say don't grab the x-ray, just keep going. Oh, hello! Uh, excuse me, pardon me. I'm not gonna bite you. Oh, more. Oh, just a green gem. Green crystal, I mean. Let's get away from this guy and see more of them. Difficult to defeat without me losing a human health, so I'm ready to move in and get to the other, like the golem that we saw before. To actually can do some more damage easily without taking damage of our own. Uh, looks like we have to head over here. Yeah, that one. Oh, let's go. Let's wait here for a while. And it looks like the crystals are cumulative, that you can grab them, so it's a nice that they put them together. Okay. Right over here. Alright. Some more 
junk. Next area. Stage four around. That well. Um, if you do have a oh, here's an ambulance. So you might hear my birds. Ah, dang it! Didn't want to use that bird. You just use this. There you go. I used it by accident. You want to push the circle. You want to push the X button, but I pushed circle by accident. And for those that are wondering as well, um, what would if you play the warrior who's a melee? How can you hit those targets? You can. Um, every warrior, every character has a long range ability to do something. Like I think one of them has like an axe. I think that would be the warrior or the dwarf has an axe that you can throw. So don't worry about not hitting those switches. Some of them do have the ability to do it. We have big apple. The delicious red apple. Okay. But yeah, um, I will be as well during the last episode. I'll be talking about the, uh, what game or what other marathons you like? I probably might talk about it in the update video as well. But I'll be talking about it during the Only a Fool Will Face the Leech without the good book. Um, so I'll be uh, nice and going. So I will be talking more about that. What do you like to see? Like other videos of like if you want to see me doing uh, a hard marathon like do a month of playing hard difficulty only or whatever the highest difficulty is for a game so we're level 12 we're at 255 255 215 655 and 160 600 so we're not going to use none of our things well actually yeah we can actually grab the phoenix so we can do more damage to the boss. 